Our next guest stars in the new Prime video show. It's called As We See It and You Should See It. The show follows three 20 something roommates who are living on the autism spectrum, and all three characters are played by actors who themselves identify as living on the spectrum. Actor and comedian, yep, he's a comedian. Rick Glassman got lots of jokes this morning. He plays Jack, a computer programmer. Now, in this clip, Jack tells his aide, that's Mandy, about going out on a date. Hey, how's your date? Well, I spent half my paycheck on an overpriced pizza, and they sat us next to an unruly birthday party with crying babies. So it sounds like it didn't... Uh, I think I have a girlfriend now. What? It would tell me. I think she might be my girlfriend. That's amazing. Uh, I wouldn't get too excited. Historically, I'll ruin this. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Rick Glassman joins us now. Round of applause. I, lo I yeah. love the line. I think I have a girlfriend. Welcome, Rick Glassman. Thank you for having me. We're glad you're here because Jack is navigating new relationships. He's navigating his career. He's also trying to find his independence during all of this time. Did you learn anything about yourself while you were shooting this? I was diagnosed with autism five years ago. Five years. And one of the worries I had when booking the show, assuming it went well and I would do this, uh -huh. uh, was being a spokesperson for something that I'm still learning about. And going through the show and, and Sue Ann and Albert, who play my roommates, and, and so many of the guest stars who are neurodiverse um, characters are played by neurodiverse actors. I've met so many people, and, and I've said this before, so I, I get insecure when I'm repeating stuff, but there's a quote that Dr. Stephen Shore says, if, you, if you've met one person with autism, it means you've met one person with autism. Yes. And that made sense, but in practice, meeting so many different people and, oh, that's autism. I thought, but, you know, and just realizing how literally and metaphorically across the spectrum it right. is. Right. And it was just very validating that it's not a, it's it, you're not defined by a by a thing right um, but yet we are there is a community of like people that I like this word many don't but just a little weird that it was really just nice to connect and I realized that I realized that I don't know what autism is. It is. You know, I think it's interesting, Rick, when you said you were just diagnosed five years ago. I can see people looking at this and right. saying, saying, how is that possible? Growing up, did you think that there was something? I, I personally don't like the word weird. You used it. I didn't. I, I don't like that. Yeah. Was, there, was there something about you growing up that you thought was different than other people? Could you look back now and yeah. think at moments where you... Yeah, I mean, I was... You know, different diagnoses of different things, the learning disabled class, and then the other yeah. special sub learning disabled class, whatever that was. Yes. And then I go to a special school and just, and I'm finding out after the fact of people taking notes of my behavior that was taken out of context or, and or out of my awareness. I, I mean, there's a, the one, I mean, this, there's so many, but I don't know if you guys did, you take a safety pin mm -hmm. or, and you could like stick it in the dead skin and you're yeah, yeah. in the cage. Yeah. And then yeah. I found out a year later that it reports that I stabbed myself and all these things of just being misunderstood. And exaggerated. Yeah. Uh, and exaggerated, yeah. which isn't an autistic thing. It's just, you know, sometimes people don't communicate directly. Mm -hmm. For many people with autism, I think I'll speak for myself. You need, I, you need to say, hey, you know, fix your, do this different, mm -hmm. or you don't know. Mm -hmm. So the show is very powerful. It's also very funny. Yes. It, there oh, there are laugh out loud scenes, particularly with your character. Don't tell <laughs> the others, but your, your character is my favorite. <laughs> uh, but, but you make a good point about how uh, you meet an autistic person, you've met one, you haven't met everyone. So with that in mind, what do you hope viewers take away from watching the show? I have a very strong stance on speaking directly and communicating directly. Um, because I need it. I've also, over the years, since this diagnosis, so much awareness has been brought to me and I've been able to find these rule books that have existed that I didn't really understand. I've learned that not everybody communicates that way. Not everybody likes to be communicated to that way. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, the plan. so I have to, when I meet somebody, ask that, give them that safety. By the way, if, there's, if I have a booger, tell me. You know, like right. letting people tell me this thing. What I want people to take from this show is, you know, you meet these characters in the pilot and some things you might like, some might you might not by design. Um, and in real life, then you're like, okay, 
But here it's a show and there's a narrative and it's entertaining and then you fall in love with these characters. Yes. And on surface you fall in love with the characters, but the reality is you're proven wrong that, oh, I just had to get to know this character. You know, that, welcome to life, baby. Yes. Yeah. We, um, yes. We oftentimes say yes. in media and in Hollywood that representation matters. I like to say true representation matters. What truths about autism did this show get right? Here's a moment where I don't feel I have the credentials to do that. So I'm going to reframe the question and okay. what I'm, what I'm sure, what I like about that. Of course. Although I have to say, I, since it came out, I've been getting such an amazing response of people either in the autistic community or directly connected to it, of really appreciating the authenticity. And I'm so glad there's so many hands, Jason Cadence, yeah. who created the show, to make this happen. But what I like about it, it from a possibly selfish point of view, is I think you are such a beautiful person. There are character traits that I have in real life, especially as a kid, that I was able to bring to this character that mm. also it's just a design of the show. Some people give more notes than others. Right. But they let me do what they let me do what I felt it was. The authentic. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, but I, yeah. I if that is, I mean, what's all, the, you know, that's it, my version of it. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. But it just Can felt, I just say yeah. this, Rick? Your version is very, very good. I know they're giving oh, us goodness. a wrap to go. I can't say enough about your performance. Thank you. And the performance of your co-stars. Very well done. We thank, thank you good. for coming. I think thank you have a hit. Thank I really you. do. You have to let me end with one thing in case this is the closest I get. Okay, we have go ahead, hurry up. Live from New York. <laughs> Saturday night. I told you. say CBS oh, Morning. It's it's Saturday night, man. <laughs> this is my moment. CBS Morning. Thank you, Rick Glassman. Thank you so much. Thank you.